Hey guys, it's Latham here. Today I'm going to show you a couple tricks that most players don't know about in Green Hell. Starting with number one, trees fall to the left. Now at first you're probably thinking this isn't very useful, but how many times have you been in a situation like this and watched as your precious logs go tumbling into the water? The solution? Just position yourself so that the tree will fall at a right angle to your left and you can avoid losing those precious logs to a watery grave. This can also be useful for making all your logs fall into a nice little pile, making it easier to gather and find later. Moving on to our second tip, only the first log you pick up has weight. If you pick up a log and notice you are moving like a slug, just drop enough gear that you can carry one log comfortably. After that, any additional logs are weight free. Here you can see that my weight is the same whether I'm carrying one log or three. Tip number three, surprisingly this one took me a while to realize, but you can actually chop a log on the ground and turn it into two long sticks and a plank. This makes building your base a lot easier. Tip number four, drink a single brew twice. If your hydration meter is full, you can drink a soup twice. If you drink from a brew or soup with full hydration, it will only consume a portion of the hydration, but it will give you the full benefits for the other stats each time you drink it. Here you can see that our hydration is zero, and our carbs are zero. And when we drink from the soup, it will consume the entire thing and only give us 50 carbs. But if we reload this, set it up the exact same as we had before, Except for this time, we will max out our hydration first. And now, it would allow us to drink from it twice, each time giving us the 50 carbs. Our next tip, weapons lose durability when on the ground. This one is pretty simple. Weapons and tools lose durability at a rate of 1% for 50 seconds while on the ground. So rather than letting these items go to waste, just build a weapon rack and reserve their durability. Weapons do not lose durability while on a weapon rack. Our next tip, you can dodge. You can dodge to the left, right, or backwards by walking in our desired direction and hitting the jump key. This is most effective against the hostile enemies of the game, but most notably the spearmen. Do note this does consume a large amount of your stamina. And on to our final tip. You can duplicate items in co-op. Some of the items in the game will only spawn once. This means that only one person will be able to use said item. While I'm generally not a fan of duping, I don't like that the item only spawns one time and only one player gets to use them. So how does this work? It's very simple. First, you cannot be the host. If you are, you're gonna have to give the item to your friend and have them do this. After that, make sure you save your game, then drop the item on the ground, and leap. After you've left, you are free to rejoin, and it will reload your character with the inventory you had when you saved. 
but the item you dropped on the ground will still be there. So there you have it. Seven tricks most people didn't know in Green Hell. If you learned anything new in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more content in the future.